Welcome to your Tutor Online Video Lessons. My name is Joel, and today's viewer question comes from Cambry, who asks uh, an example question on how to simplify complex fractions. And I don't think I addressed this in the original video on complex uh, fractions, uh, on um, how to find the lowest common denominator using factoring. So she uh, offers this example, 8 over y minus 3 minus 7 over, excuse me, that's 7 over y, all over 5 over y squared minus 3y plus 2 over y. For all these complex rational expressions or fractions, we're looking for the lowest common denominator. So we're looking at these denominators here, the y minus 3, the y, y squared minus 3y, and the last y. And we're looking for a lowest common denominator. To get started, you look for those denominators for anything that can be factored. And this right here can be factored. So let's do that over here, off to the side, y squared minus 3y. If we factor out a y, we'll be left with a y minus 3. And sometimes when you just go ahead and factor any one of those denominators, you start to see really obviously the lowest common denominator. This one right here accounts for our y, and this y minus 3 accounts for the y minus 3. So this is the lowest common denominator. Once we have that, we multiply every single fraction by this lowest common denominator. I'm going to go ahead and switch colors so it's easier to see. So I write that up to the side here. Oops, sorry about that. Let me get a better color for you. Okay. Write the lowest common denominator next to each fraction. So if y, y minus 3. And it's the lowest common denominator because we can get to that from this by multiplying something. The y minus 3, if we multiply the whole thing by y, we get the lowest common denominator. So y minus 3, y minus 3, and y times y minus 3. All right, and all these lowest common denominators are all on the top. So they're all over 1, if that's more clear for you. Now you do a cross multiplication to simplify. y minus 3 cancels out with the y minus 3. The y cancels out with the y. This whole thing we just simplified over here by factoring, so the whole thing is gone. And the y is gone with the y. Okay. And the whole idea of that is to get rid of these denominators. So we can go ahead and multiply across 8. All we have left is a y becomes 8y. 7 times all we have left is the quantity y minus 3. Make sure you leave that in parentheses, and we're going to keep that minus sign. 5 with nothing, because that becomes a 1, is just 5, and 2 with y minus 3 in parentheses, and we keep the sign. Okay, now we can simplify just a little bit more, distribute into the parentheses, 7 times y, and seven ti negative 7 times negative 3 gives us positive 21 all over 5, and we distribute 2y minus 6. Still more simplification to go, because we have uh, common uh, like terms. 8 minus 7 gives us just a y. If there's a 1 in front, we don't write it. Plus 21 all over, uh, we have a like term again, 5 and 6. So put the 2y in front, minus 1, negative 6 plus 5. Uh, gives us negative 1. Oops. Okay. Go ahead and circle that for us there. And that is our final answer. Okay. I'm going to go up and show you the original. Alright, we went from this, followed all those steps, and we got to our final simplified answer y plus 21 all over 2y minus 1. Alright, thanks Cambry for asking the question. 
you can ask questions too um, by leaving a comment on any YouTube pages, visiting the website yourtutoronline.com, or send me an email joel at yourtutoronline.com, especially if you have um, a, spe a specific example that you have trouble working through from a homework or a test or quiz or something like that. You can take a picture and send it directly to me uh, for me to come up with a video. Thank you so much for watching. If these are helpful for you, please share them with your classmates and your teachers, and I'll see you next time. Happy studying.